Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seem to have very different experiences at a Beyoncé gig last night. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were spotted at the world-famous singer's concert at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood on Friday night, part of her three-night stint for the sold-out Renaissance World Tour. The night wasn't just about the British royalty in attendance. The concert itself consisted of an all-star lineup including hip-hop legends. DJ Khaled set the tone, opening the evening that also featured performances by 2 Chains, Wiz Khalifa, Roddy Rich, Coil Array, Offset, and Lil Wayne. While Meghan and her mother, Doria, were seen enjoying the performance, dancing and waving, Harry appeared more reserved, frequently checking his phone, leading some observers to suggest he looked disinterested. The disinterested look on the prince's face grabbed the attention of many on Twitter, with some coming up with theories as to why he didn't seem to be having fun. For all the latest on news, politics, sports, and showbiz from the USA, go to Daily Express US. Meghan Markle facing pitfalls over Instagram return as expert pinpoints issues he always looks so miserable when she drags him out for her lil photo ops. Maybe this was his punishment for standing next to that good-looking woman in Japan, one commenter posted. Harry looks miserable. Not smiling. Hands in pockets. His mind elsewhere, another commenter noted. Some users took the photo as an appropriate time to crack a joke with one user stating, I wonder if the word renaissance confused Harry's wife and she thought it was like the medieval fair? Don't miss. Meghan Markle shares her top tip for flying, having traveled so often, latest, Prince William and Meghan neck and neck for favorite royal among Americans, poll, Prince William left furious about Harry's spear attack claims Royal Insider, Insider, while Harry wasn't as amused as the rest, Beyoncé did not disappoint, delivering a standout performance that had her fans on their feet. In early July the royal couple decided to part ways with Spotify after recording only one episode and dropping a reportedly $20 million deal according to People. The Spotify deal was nothing compared to the reported $100 million deal between Netflix and the couple's production company, which was signed in early 2020. While the $100 million remains in force, COVID-19, budget cuts, and labor strikes have subsequently slowed down production in the last three years, according to People, 